time for us to talk about critiquing artwork and things that are really important to know about it. Like, mm, what is critiquing art? Well, first, it's a way for you to be able to talk about artwork. And it could be your artwork or it could be, well, anyone else's. One of the reasons why we're using critiquing in our art room is because we want to be able to talk about artwork and honestly be able to help each other out in making your artwork better. So check this out. When you're critiquing artwork, the first thing I want you to do is to be able to describe it. Mm -hmm. Describe it. All you need to do is, well, keep calm and state the obvious. All right, what does that really mean? It means if I were to be talking about this piece of artwork right here, I would state the obvious and say, it is a painting on canvas. I would also mention that there's organic shapes in it and that they happen to have a black outline. That would be a way for me to be able to say or describe the difference between this painting and this painting. When you describe it, you're setting and stating the difference between them in a way where if I were um, to have your critique sheet and your painting, I'd be able to match the two together. All right, step two. That is when you analyze your artwork. Analyze, mm -hmm. that's when you look really closely into what your artwork is. So if I were to look at this painting, I would really analyze or look at it in the way where I would use words from the art elements or principles of design. Like the shapes are balancing out the composition or there is emphasis in the middle of this tree figure. So think about how words can help you describe not just the line and the shape, but how they're organized in a way to create interest in your artwork. All right, so I'm here with my friend, Miss Mercier. She <coughs> happens to be one of the high school art teachers. Hopefully you'll get to meet her in a couple years. But here's the deal. We want to graduate middle school. They do. They do. Study. I, here's for hoping. All right, so we want to talk to you a little bit about interpreting artwork and how I can look at the piece of art totally differently than, well, someone else. And when we interpret art, what we have to do is we have to think a little bit about what the artist is trying to say, and sometimes we have to do some wondering. All right, so we had a conversation, and we were talking about this piece of artwork right here. <laughs> when I looked in, she goes, you should talk about that one. I'm like, yeah, I know, the one of the car. She goes, I, I didn't see a car. You did not see a car. No, because when we were looking at it, it was upside down. And it looked like this. It did. And what I saw was the face with Skittles in his mouth. And here's the eyes. Uh, looks like my brother. <laughs> I totally see that, yeah. too. Yeah. I really wonder what the artist was thinking when they created this piece of artwork. But we'll never know. We just have to sit and interpret it. And wonder. Judging. Yeah, in middle school we're really good at judging. Well, one of the things that we have to do when we're looking at artwork is, well, we have to judge it and evaluate it and decide if we like it or don't like it. But you can't just say things like, oh, it's nice. Nice means nothing. You need to take some time to really explain your thoughts and your feelings on something. For example, if I were to judge this piece of artwork, I would say it is an abstract and I really like it. I like how it's not balanced. I like how clean the lines are in the craftsmanship. Or I really like it because it has my favorite colors and it could really go in my family room. But when you're judging your artwork or somebody else's, you need to give or cite specific evidence that you see in the artwork to justify your response. All right. Good luck.